Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lucha FM, for another episode of the Ring of Honor TEW 2020 series. Um, in this episode, there's going to be a bit more focus on pushing certain people. The angle I want to do with Ring of Honor is pushing wrestlers that are underutilized in AEW. And what we're going to do is use the big stars from AEW to um, eventually put over the young stars in Ring of Honor and the un underutilized underutilized wrestlers as well so that'll be exciting that will make it interesting for me when it comes to booking i've managed to change the product to AEW's product as well which i forgot to do before the first episode so hopefully we won't have the issue of wrestlers not having good ring performances but we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes so yeah so on that note um i just want to say quickly thank you for the people who watched the first episode um, I did four times the amount of people, sorry, I, I did four times the amount of views that I did on a regular Fight Club Pro episode. So I really appreciate the other people tuning in to watch it. Hopefully you'll watch this one as well and continue. Um, like I said, what I want to try and do is when TW9 comes out at the end of this month, I want to transfer the save over so I can continue it. I might not be able to do that, but we'll see. Worst comes to worst. Um, we'll just start again with, on TW9. It won't take me long to get to the point where I'm at. So, yeah. But anyway, right. I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are. Um, we have our first big event for the series, Death Before Dishonor. So, um, I haven't really got any ideas what matches I want to do. I, I There will be... The, it will still be the same chaotic um, booking style that I do, but um, there will be some structure as well. There will be certain wrestlers I want to push. So, yeah, let's just see how we get on. Um, Billy, Billy Guns passing on his tip psychology to Mandy Sachs, who used to be Mandy Rose in WWE. Dustin Rhodes has done the same for Nick Camar uh, Camarato and also has passed on uh, to Ronda Rousey and Shauna Reed. So Dustin Rhodes is a great addition to the roster simply because of being a really good mentor for the younger wrestlers. So that's really good. Right, so what we're going to do is I want to start the show strong. So we're going to have a tag four-way tag team match. Uh, males tag team view, we'll just go with that one first. Let's pick Aussie Open, FTR. Uh, it lets me go across FTR. And then what we're going to do, um, yeah, that, that's a tag team name. That's actually a legit tag team name for um, Anton Smith. I'm uh, sorry, Ashton Smith and Charlie Sterling. Interracial love. Take that how you want. Um, we've got Los Guerreros del Pielo, who I am a fan of them from the Lucha Underground days. And we've also got my boys, More Than a Hype, from my Fight Club Pro save. So we're going to put them in there as well. We'll go 17 minutes for the Ring of Honor tag team titles. And then what we'll do is, um, for now, we're going to have Dax and Cash retain them for a bit. The long-term goal is to push a young tag team like more than the hype. But it just depends. They might be really good on my Save and Fight Club Pro, but they might not be good on this one. So we will see how they get on. Hopefully, they'll get on and do well. And uh, perform well and then we can start looking at pushing more than the hype too as a major tag team um for this one i have to i don't have to do any angles which is great so i can just do matches um so what we'll do now is we'll do a wrong way we'll do a six-way women's match because we do have a women's champion which is um athena but we have got a very big women's roster. So I want to throw some of the young ones in, but I'm also conscious about the fact that um, I do I do like Avedon. So even though she's not very good in the ring, I don't think, um, I do want her in the mix. But yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got quite a few here. I've got Amy Dumas, obviously Lita. I've got some old ones like Angelina Love. Um, and actually, I'm going to put Anna, G in, Anna J in instead of Abaddon for now. Um, put Hamada in there, another season pro. Billy Starks, we'll put in there. Billy Starks and Izzy, if I can find her. There they are. They're ones I want to push. And then we've got Jamie Hayter as well. 
So I've managed to literally get every single wrestler available from AEW um, initially to just just give them ring time and give them exposure. But eventually, I've got my eye on Anna Jay as a main women's star. Billy Starks and Izzy are the future. Billy Starks is 19, Izzy is only 17. So uh, with that in mind, they will be some of my main women's wrestlers. I have got a women's TV title as well as the women's title. But obviously for this reason, we're going to have uh, Athena retain her title. Like that. Oh, well done. Have I done something wrong here? Let me have a look. All right. Where is the... Yeah, Athena. Women's heavyweight title. Women's heavyweight title. What's, what's going on here? Oh, the TV title. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want the TV title, no. Uh, Jamie Hayter's unhappy, but we'll just we'll just give her some money afterwards. Right. We've just got to knock this down to 15. Hopefully, Izzy can do that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right. So that's that. Um, oh no, they do want us to do 85. I forgot because Ring AW want to do that. So, what we'll do is we'll have Jamie Hayter fighting Athena, sell him. So, we'll have like a post match angle with Jamie Hayter taking out frustrations on the champion, and then maybe at the next big Ring of Honor event, we can do Jamie Hayter versus Athena, which would be an absolute amazing wrestling match in real life. I would love to see them wrestle, right? So We've done that, we've done that. Now we'll do another six wave, this time for the men. Um, and what we're going to do is just get rid of these. And then um, what we'll do is... Um, do, 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 do. Let me think. Alexander Hammerstone, because we want to push him. I've got so many wrestlers, by the way. Um, I will go through them at some point. Black Taurus we'll put in there. We'll have Brian... No, we won't have Brian Kendrick in there. I've even signed Brian Alvarez. <laughs> not, that he'll, not that he'll probably ever wrestle for me, but you never know. Um, Brian Keith we'll put in there. Let's have a look. Danhausen, we'll put Danhausen in there. Why not? Why the hell not? Daniel Garcia we'll put in there. I want to push him as well, Daniel Garcia. And then who are we going to put in the last one? Gravity, maybe? No. Um, I signed this guy. I'm going to give him a test run. Freddie Hudson. He just looked like a big, big manly man. And I just think he'd be a good, like, unknown wrestler that we can kind of, like, create as one of our stars at some point. So we'll do that. And then we'll book that. Um, right. I don't know where to go now from this. Right. I'll tell you what, then. We'll do... Four way this time, and then we'll pick some of our main stars. Male, there you go. Um, <clears throat> won't pick. We'll pick Dalton Castle, Claudio, um, Penta, and no Ray Phoenix. We'll put in there. Right, that's that. We'll leave it as 15 minutes, I think. Just book that. And then what we'll do after the match is... Oh, no. Wrong thing. What we'll do is we'll book an angle. And we'll have... Claudio, not Caprice. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, why is it doing that? Oh, that's why. Sorry, everyone. Right, Claudio attacking Dalton Castle after the match. So that can set up a match for them on a, one of the Ring of Honor TV shows. So we're all right. We're keeping the angle perverts happy. 85%. In 82 minutes, we've still got 55 minutes to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to book the main event first. And then what whoever I've got left, then I can figure out a match to do afterwards. So what we're going to do is... Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do because there's, there's women's matches I can do. Ah, so here we go. So we're going to go Mercedes Monet versus Ronda Rousey. For the Ring of Honor TV, yeah, TV. We'll, we'll give that a bit of a push, like a 
TBS. I think it's a TBS championship in AEW where they where it's kind of equal to the um equal to the, the women's world heavyweight title. If if actually if anything, Mercedes Monet, no offense to Tony Storm or people like that, but Mercedes Monet is more of a star than Tony Storm at the moment. So we'll just have that as that. We'll just leave it as that. Um yep, yeah, that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll have Mercedes Monet, if I can find her. There we go. Attacking Ronda after the match. If you can hear a buzzing noise, by the way, there's a fly hovering around, and I'm just hoping he buggers off eventually. Right. Because um, it's very hot, so I have to have the doors open all the time and the windows open all the time. So we've done the women's match, so now we've got enough time to do a main event. And when I've... Where is he? Oh, for God's sake. Um, Brian with the Y in it, that's why I couldn't find it. Right, Brian. We'll do that, do that, do that. So we've got... Oh, yeah, but it's going to be Mark Briscoe anyway. Uh, actually, do you know what? I'm not going to... I'm going to do a heavyweight title match afterwards. I've just got... So this is like the first Ring of Honor event I'm booking. And if anybody is a historian of Ring of Honor, their first ever main event was Brian Danielson, Christopher Daniels, and Loki. And I have all three of these. I don't think Christopher Daniels can do a long match. So we're going to leave this blank. We're not going to have any titles. I just need to change the announcer. We'll put Al Snow in charge. Of Owen. There we go. Um, and then we've got enough time. We've got plenty of time. We've only, we, we can actually do two more matches, actually. So what I'll do is I'll do another singles match. I'm going to put Samoa Joe in there. We'll have him against Sammy Guevara, actually. I think that would actually be a good match in real life. We'll have them. We'll go 18 minutes. We'll leave it blank. And then we can do one more match. And we'll do... I'll change the... I'll change it around. Actually, no, I won't change it. I've got to do Mark Briscoe. Not Mark Thornton. Mark Briscoe versus male. And then what we do is... So who are we going to have challenging? Christian Cage, maybe? I think... Dustin Rhodes, personally, because he's so well liked backstage, I think. And we'll have the heavyweight title line because Mark Briscoe is the champ. We're going to have him retain and uh, all out match, open match. We'll see if they can do that. Okay, they can't do that for 17 minutes. Can they do it for 15 minutes? No. Right, so we won't do all out. Much. We'll get rid of that. And then hopefully that will be fine. That's it. So I just need to look at this. Uh, Jamie Hayes has been happy, so we can all that. But the women's TV title is booked for Mercedes uh, Monet versus Ronda Rousey, but the champion is not present. Huh? Oh, balls. Okay. Um, we won't have a title for this because I completely forgot Billy Starks is the TV champion. Women's TV champion, because I tried to do it as current as possible, so we'll ignore that one. Right, let's have a look at the book analysis now. Um, you'll be penalised to not have any matches that are storytelling, so what we'll do is we'll have Mercedes Monet versus Ronda Rousey. Change that one to storytelling. And then we'll book that, and then let's have a look now. So we'll be penalised for not having any matches aimed at Wild Brawl, Mayhem, or Car Crash. So what can we have for that one there? Samoa Joe versus Sammy Guevara. Put that as a... Mm, should I put that as a car crash? Put that as a car crash, see what happens. Um, okay, so it won't let me do it for that. There we go, 15 minutes. There we go. I need to change the product after this because on my Fight Club Pro save, um, I don't have to do these match objectives and I completely forgot how to do it. I think it's in the options, isn't it? Actually, I might be able to do it mid-match. Options, there we go. Um, it's one of these, isn't it? 
Where is it? Where is it? You're all screaming at me right now, going, it's here, it's here. Um, is it ma match objectives? It's under mod preferences, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Right, match aim requirements. There we go. Okay. Right, let's go back to this. There we go. So it's got rid of all that. Um, we'll just check. Looking, Jamie Hayes. Right, I have got a storyline, haven't I? No, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to do some storylines. So we'll do Mercedes. We'll do Monet versus Rousey. Uh, like so. so that's that one and then what we'll do is what other storyline should we do should we do um should we do claudio versus dalton castle mm, i don't think that's very actually i'll just leave it for now and then i'll ah yeah jamie hater versus athena can be a storyline as well so we do hater versus athena and then what i'll do is offline later on i'll look and see who I want to do a um, storyline for the men. So we'll have Billy Starks as a supporting role, because obviously in real life she's in a group with Athena. And then what we'll do is Billy Starks, there we go, is aligned with her. Um, I need to change that now, because there's no point having the car crash. So we'll just do normal, should we just do storytelling? We'll do storytelling. And then we'll go 18 minutes. Right. Not the best card, obviously, but I think this is a strong card. I think the next one I do will be better. I can do other matches if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as this for the first show. Actually, do you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do a pre-show match. I'm going to give some of these unknowns a tryout before I carry on. And it'll give me a, an idea who can go in the ring and who can't. So what we'll do is do the female. We'll do two matches. We'll do one for women. So we'll do Abaddon, um, Ariel Monroe, Ali, Ali, Ali Catch. Um, we'll put Amira in there, Amy Dumas, aka Lita, Ava Everett, um, Brittany Blake, Cassie Lee, and then uh, Charlie Evans. Right, there you go. I've got such a stacked women's division though that I could probably have three women's titles and it wouldn't make and it still wouldn't scratch the surface. Right, so we'll do 17 minutes pre-show match. That's that one's that one booked. Uh advise putting Mirror in the match this length. Okay, that's fine. Let's change it to 15. Right. Um and then what we'll do. Oh my god, I've just realized what I've done, everyone. I need to change this. How the hell do I change this now? Um, placement mode. Oh, I can't remember how you do it now. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm gonna have to switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Right. So we do. The main event is not gonna be that tag team match. We need to swap that with that one. And then what we need to do is do. Um. No, I don't want to click on that. Hold on. Uh, how do I highlight this? Right, this one needs to be here. That's where. That's fine. Smojo. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to click on a different. Hold on. Ah, I'll just do it this way. I'm just gonna have to do it this way. I know. At least I know how to do it this way. One. I'm sorry about this, everyone. Push that as far as possible up the car. And then push this one down the card. I've got to make sure I do this properly so I'm trying to concentrate on the arrows. My hand and eye coordination is not the best because of my disability, so bear with us. Okay, so that's okay. Now we really need to push this up here. Like so. Uh, 
Um, angle with the feet. No, is that six way the one with the feet? No, that's a normal. I'm going to push that down towards the bottom. I'm going to push this up actually before I forget. I oh, know we need to do that angle afterwards, so that's the match. And then angle with that one there. Um, where's right? I need to push this angle up here a bit. Right, so that's that. I think I'm getting there. I'm nearly finished. I feel like I'm all right now. I think everything is where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, oh, so sorry about that. I need to change. I need to figure out how to do that. So it's the so the main events at the bottom. Or I just need to book it the main event first and work my way down. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Right. So another pre-show match, this time with the men. It goes 17 minutes, and then we just pick some male wrestlers. Um, men. So we'll go... Right, makes it a bit easier. So we just need to give some trials to Aerostar, um, Alex Zane, Anthony Green. So many wrestlers I overstopped. AR Star, AR Fox, um, Blake Christian. Some of these obviously were main, uh, sort of main like stars for Ring of Honor for a period of time. Um, I do you know what I'm gonna put Brian Alvarez in there just for just from a laugh for me basically. Charm oh, for God's sake. Charlie Sterling, Chris Ridgeway, and then Danny Limelight. There'll be other ones we'll give a try to eventually as well. Tenway, we need to put B2, because we've already done Tenway. There we go. Right, we are ready to go. Let's get started. Um, sorry that took a while, everyone. Very convoluted. Right, so in the first pre-show 10-way match, Aerostar won. Um, and he, was that, how did Brian Alvarez do? 15 Brian Alvarez. <laughs> That's quite funny. He would not, he, he would say that was minus five stars. Um, who was the stand-up performer? AR Fox with a 52, which is pretty good considering. Anybody else worth keeping on? Blue Panther Jr. maybe? Blake Christian maybe? Chris Ridgeway did well. Um, that's good to see. Ian Riccoboni and Nigel McGuinness have pretty good chemistry. The pillar commentary gave the match a boost. Right, in the women's match, um, Amy Dumas won, which was probably expected. She's the biggest star. Abaddon um, is the is not very good, but neither is Amira. They're both rubbish. Same as Ava Everett. There, she's rubbish. So I need to I need to get a document up right now. Uh. I wish there was an easier way of doing this. So we'll go. You can't see. I mean, actually, you probably can see this. Um, right. So we'll go. Actually, I've already got a TW document. TW. There we go. Close that so you can't see anything else. Um, there we go. Sorry. I was writing some information down about losing weight. Right. We just need to get rid of all these. So we need to, this is going to be my list of people I'm getting rid of. So we go Mira, Abaddon, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Brian Alvarez. So anybody that can't work is getting booted out. Um, would Ava Everett, Everett. Uh, anybody else? If they're, if they're 30 and over, I'll probably keep them for now. Right, so in the first proper match of the show, we had FTR retain their tag titles. Only got a 54 rating, which is quite disappointing considering the wrestlers in the ring. Um, yeah, this database is not very good when it comes to recognising the greatest tag team we've had in a very long time in FTR. They were the best performers, though. Um, oh, Nathan Martin only got a 40. Darren Kearney only got a 36. But it was okay. Um, yeah, anyway, right. So the women's six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six way match, got a 42 rating. Fina retained the title. Fina with a 49 rating. Uh, Hamada with a 48. 
Oh, he's only got a 16. Now, I'm not going to get rid of her because she is a pet project. But um, Jamie Hayward with a 47. So, so I reckon her and Athena would have a good one-on-one -on -one match. Maybe a freeway with Amada might be good. Right, so we've got the six-way men's match. Daniel Garcia won. Got a 51 rating. Who was the... Dan Housen with a 46. Daniel Garcia with a 54. So that's not too bad. Um, I forgot to look how that Freddie Hudson did. Oh well, he obviously didn't do bad because I would have said I would have seen it. Um, Penta L Penta L zero M um, won the four way match. Got a sixty four rating, sixty nine for Ray Phoenix, sixty four for Penta. They were the best wrestlers in the match. And then um, Angle was got forty two. The angle that was meant to be done before the match. Well, I obviously forgot. Um, so we'll call it, we'll just pretend this is like a pre-match attack or something by Mercedes. Got a 50 rating. The match itself got a 44, which is quite disappointing. Ronda Rousey won. Oh, no. My, Mercedes Monet sustained a broken jaw. Um, apparently Caprice could have done a better job as road agent. We need to change. We need to get rid of Caprice as a road agent. So we'll just put, get rid of Caprice as road agent so we'll keep him as a color commentator for now unless he's rubbish as that at the moment he's not commentating so i might just get rid of him altogether um mercedes monet was the standout performer this match 53 and uh ronda rousey now has backstage heat following the injury to mercedes which is not good as she was going to be one of my main women stars uh angle with jamie hater and athena got a 39 that was meant to be after their match but it doesn't matter right 66 rating for the match between Brian Danielson, who defeated Christopher Daniels and Loki in just under 20 minutes. Um, that Brian Danielson was the standout performer of the match with a 71, Christopher Daniels with a 54, and then Loki with a 49. I absolutely love Loki, though. I used to be a massive fan of his back in the day. Samoa Joe defeated Samuel Guevara in 17 minutes with the Muscle Buster, got a 56 rating. Um, Samoa Joe had a in-ring performance of 51, Samuel Guevara with a 53. And then the main event got a 50 rating. Uh, Mark Briscoe defeated Dustin Rose by submission. And makes yeah, Mark Briscoe makes his first successful defense of the heavyweight title. Um, Mark Briscoe with a 50 rating, Dustin Rose with a 35. Not the best main event to end the show, but I feel like it would be like a good sentimental one, really. So we've increased our popularity in 10 regions. We had a 53 rating and we got 1,142 people. So a lot to work on. Now, I need to figure out how to get my product like exactly like it was with Fight Club Pro. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to load up my Fight Club Pro, save, see what the difference is between that one and the Ring of Honor save, and then try and replicate what I'm doing with Fight it might be to do with the database because the database I'm using is a different one to the one I'm using for the Fight Club Pro one so it might be everything to do with that um, anybody watching because I have had quite a bit of good advice when it comes to this anybody watching this episode please can you oh yeah we've got like loads of more wrestlers coming in by the way um, yeah but before I finish anybody on the uh, leave a comment let me know how to change it if I need to change it but yeah yeah look at all these <laughs> so I'm gonna have like a absolute bloated roast roster by the end of this. I'm gonna have a lot of wrestlers complaining. How did we do? Twelve thousand six hundred forty-three viewers, which is pretty good. Monet's injured. Let's see how long she's injured for. Bob Orton Jr. passes away. R.I.P. to Bob Orton Jr. So for good medical. So we can't give anybody any surgery. How long's Mercedes injured for? Broken jaw. Eleven months with a broken jaw. Are you joking me? <sighs> absolutely ridiculous and i can't release her because if i release it she'll never want to come here ever again oh, i've got to sign some gimmicks for people as well right um i'll be back in a minute right we're back um i didn't realize how long that first show took to book so i've already done 27 minutes of a video so what i'm going to do is do um this one and then call it a day for this episode and the next episode, I'll probably be able to fit like a couple of more shows in. Um, but yeah, it's because I was probably just rambling on or something, or just it just took ages to book how 
because of that cock up I made. Um, I have changed settings. Um, before I show you the backstage incidents, I'll just show you. So I've changed settings on here, and I've also changed settings on here. Um, I'll just leave this here for about 10 seconds while I'm talking. Have a quick look and um, pause it if you need to. And let me know in the comments section if there's anything else that you think I should untick. I think I've definitely fixed it there with the unable book main event first. Um, and I've, but I've got rid of certain things as well that I think would hinder me. So just let me know in the comments section, please. Would appreciate it. Um, some of you have been really good at helping me out when it comes to stuff like that. So I would like your help again. Um, we can only book 60 minutes. So um, first of all, I've got to do these first. The backstage incidents. There we go. Right. So let's check this one first. Um, AR Fox has been passing on tips to Lee Johnson. Uh, Lee Johnson is definitely somebody I will be looking at pushing out. I've always rated him in AW. Once Cody Rose left, it was a shame because Lee Johnson just went. And basically, he's in Ring of Honor. But um, AR Fox also passing on tips to Sean Dean. Tracy William passing on tips to Wheeler Utah. Chuck Taylor passing on microphone protege to, uh, microphone tips to his protege Ricochet. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Uh, did the same to for you. you uh, so you should be pretty good. He's got two wrestlers passing on tips to him. Uh, Shelton passing on tips to Davari. Dustin passing on tips to Camarato uh, and Pro uh, Ronda Rousey and Shauna Reed. Uh, Al Snow passing on tips to John Hennigan and Kenny King and Scott Damore and then um, Sarai passing on tips to Charlie Morgan so a lot of veterans helping the youngsters out which is good um, let's crack on so when it comes to the usual match format I think what we'll do is we'll have three matches for the Ring of Honor TV show so we'll do one female match so um, what we'll do is we'll have Right, so we'll have, I think we'll have Britt Baker make a debut, and we'll have her against Tony Storm. And that'll be the match that kicks off the show. Hopefully, it will be a good match. We'll leave that there, and then what we'll do, we'll do Britt Baker attacking Tony Storm after the match. Um, I've got rid of the baby faces and heels, so um, yeah just because I just think it hinders the booking style if you've got to take that into account. Um, so that's the first match. So then that would, what we'll do now is we'll do a tag team match. And then we'll go, we've got quite a few tag teams now, to be honest. Um, but we'll go FTR, they're our tag champs. And we'll have them against, I'll do it this way because my mouse is playing off. Um, Tag team view. No, I had it on tag team view at the first point. Um, we'll go best friends. Come on, let me. Wait. Oh, stop this. Right. Uh, there we go. I don't know why. Oh, do you know why? Because I got rid of it in the settings by accident. So that's why it won't let me drag across. So I need to change that afterwards. We'll have. Cash and Dax retain. Do a bit of storytelling on this one. Um, and then, right, so we can have another 25 minutes. So we'll do a big main event. And we'll have, and eventually I am going to push the young stars. I'm just trying to get my feet under the table here. I'm just trying to put on some good shows first, and then we'll look at, booking, um, long-term storyline planning. The thing is, at the moment, we haven't got much. On the on the TV show, we've only got an hour, so it's hard to do the things that I want to do. I need, ideally, I need it to be like AEW, where I've got like, like four two-hour shows and one one-hour show. It'll be a lot better. Hopefully, in time, I can get that with Ring of Honor. Um, so we'll book that. Okay, just need to change this. Snow. Um, 
we don't really need to do any angles for the TV show, but I'm just going to start the show. Ah, oh, that's a shame. The women's match only got 48. Must be something I'm doing, because these wrestlers, unless it's, it must be the database. I think I've done everything when it comes to the settings. Um, road agents, Jazz. So Jazz probably needs to go, so we need to get rid of Jazz as a road agent. She can still stay as a wrestler, I think. 38 for the angle afterwards, and then the tag team match got a 52 rating. Um, standout performers, FTR basically, not really anybody that was. I think we're going to struggle to find wrestlers that get. I mean, Brian Danielson only getting a 60, uh, 73 is just. I think this is everything to do with the database. I think what I might do is just. I want we're going to do is persevere with this one until TW9 comes out, and then what I'll do is I'll take on board that somebody gave me the advice of saying I needed to download and use the real world chronicles database instead so I think I'll use that one but for now we'll just do this and we'll just keep going and see how we get on um, it's 68 rating for the main event Brian Danderson defeated Alan Cole the match deserved better announcing uh, improved the popularity in 10 regions 60 rating overall and 373 people turned up so it was all right. It was an all right paper, uh, all right TV taping, really. Like I said, try to do the best. Well, not the best because I could have put better matches, but some solid matches with the TV taping. I don't want to put like dream matches all on the TV shows because I want to try and keep them for the pay per views. So um, I'm going to call it a day on this episode. But let me know, like I said, in the comment section, um, what else I can do because I'm getting really good in-ring ratings off certain wrestlers in the Fight Club Pro one. I guarantee if I had wrestlers like Brian Danielson um, and Adam Cole and people like that, I would be getting much better in-ring ratings. So there's something either to do with this database or is it something to do with the settings? Just let me know in the comments section. I would appreciate that. Um, and I'll, offline, I'll have a look myself. But I'm just going to highlight this up here. There we go. Um, thank you for watching. And I do appreciate your support. This series will get better as it goes along. It's just teething problems. Um, rem trying to re remember everything from when I did the Fight Club Pro save because that feels like so long ago when I started that on here. And I'm still a newbie when it comes to playing TW 2020 compared to a lot of you. So I do appreciate your help and and making me a better player. But yeah, anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. Like I said, and I'll be back with another Fight uh, Fight Club Pro episode on Wednesday. And on Saturday and then Sunday, it will be the next episode in the Ring of Honor Adventures on TW 2020. So, yeah, thanks a lot. I'll be back soon. Bye.